Uh, this year's Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine has been awarded to U.S. scientists Victor Ambrose and Gary Rufkin for their discovery of microRNA, a molecule that governs how cells in the body function. 올해 노벨 생리학상은 몸속 세포의 기능을 관장하는 분자 microRNA를 발견한 미국 생물학자 Victor Ambrose와 Gary Rufkin에게 돌아갔습니다. Well, this whole week, um, there's going to be announcement after announcement for the different Nobel Prizes. Um, when we were writing up this headline last night, the prize for physiology or medicine had been announced. Mm -hmm. Right now, as we're doing the live show, the Nobel Prize in Physics, the winner for that has also been announced. So uh, let's give a little update there. Can you mm -hmm. tell us who won the physics prize? Right. Uh, so the 2024 Nobel Prize in Physics has been awarded to scientists John Hotfield and Jeffrey Hinton for foundational discoveries and inventions that enable machine learning with artificial neural networks and their work developed the foundations of the current boom in machine learning and artificial intelligence. Mm. 자, 올해 노벨, 노벨 물리학상 수상자로는요. AI 머신 러닝 기계 학습의 기초를 확립한 공로로 어, 존 홉필드 그리고 제프리 힌튼이 선정됐다는 업데이트 소식까지 전해 드립니다. 자, 이렇게 이번 주 내내 yep. 노벨상 수상자가 발표가 됩니다. 여러 분야가 있기 때문이죠. 자, 일단 오늘 헤드라인에서 얘기하고 있는 생리의학상 mm -hmm. 영어로는 the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. Right, right. Tell us more. Right, so uh, these two professors, they uh, it was a collaborative project. Uh, Professor Ambrose is 70 years old and he mm. works at the University of Massachusetts Medical School. Professor Rufkin is 72 and is a professor at Harvard Medical School. And their discoveries help explain how complex life emerged on Earth and how the human body is made up of a wide variety of different tissues. So they're saying that every cell in the human body contains the same raw genetic information that's locked in our DNA, but despite starting with the identical gen genetic information, the cells of the human body are very different in mm. form and function. If you think about it, you know, some cells, they they perform like our neural cells are different from the cells in our fingernails and the cells in our liver. Um, so this variety, they say, can arise from the same starting material because of gene expression. Mm. And these U.S. scientists were the first to discover microRNAs and how they exert control on how genes are expressed differently in different tissues. So the Nobel Academy said that their groundbreaking discovery revealed a completely new principle of gene regulation that turned out to be essential for multicellular organisms, including humans. Right. 좀 말이 어려울 수는 있는데요. 아무래도 이게 전문 용어들이 yes. 많이 표현이 되다 보니까 이 마이크로 RNA라고 하는 게 우리 말로는 이제 리보핵산이라고도 하는데 유전자의 발현을 조절하는 거래요. 근데 80년대에는 이 존재조차 알려지지 않았었고 90년대 초반에 드디어 발견이 된 겁니다. 바로 지금 얘기한 두 교수의 발견으로 인해서 계속해서 지금 연구가 진행이 되고 있는 것이죠. 영어로는 the microRNAs control, 조절한다, gene expression, 유전자 발현, 이렇게 표현을 하더라고요. Yeah. 자, 너무 깊이 들어갈 수는 없어서 Very 제가. Very technical. 네, yeah. 그래서 이렇게 표현만 좀 알려드릴게요. <웃음> 자, 수상하다, 상을 받다, 영어로는 be awarded something. Mm -hmm. Be awarded. So if you are uh, given or uh, given like a, it could be a payment, or compensation, mm. in this case, a prize, we yep. use uh, the term, you are awarded with a prize. That's right. Um, a is awarded with a prize. A가 어떤 상을 받다. And to govern, let's look at that word. Right, so uh, it's used as a verb, and mm. it means to control, yeah. influence, or regulate. Mm. It could be a person, it could be an action, or even a course of events. 네, 여기서는 이제 조절하다의 의미로 쓴 거죠. Govern이라는 게뭐 어, 제어하다, 지배하다, 통제하다 이런 의미가 다 있는데 여기서는 어, 그 구체적으로 microRNA가 유전자 발현을 조절하는 역할을 한다고 하니까 컨트롤의 의미로 govern을 이해하면 될것 같습니다. 자, 그리고 참고로 여기서 a molecule that governs how cells in the body 
function. 그래서 이 function이 동사라는 것도 참고해서 들으시면 되겠습니다. 다시 한번 읽어볼게요. This year's Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine has been awarded to U.S. scientists Victor Ambrose and Gary Rovkin for their discovery of microRNA, a molecule that governs how cells in the body function.